Rubicon, we're gonna ride up the Rubicon just a little bit, just to say we did ride up this old Rubicon. It's really easy, man, look at it. It just soaks up the bumps so nicely. Let's, let's go, let me check how much charge we got real quick. This is a little bonus, bonus ride for the end of the day. Um, we're at 26%. When we get to 20%, we'll turn around. We'll see how far we can get with 6% of charge. Now this is, mind you, this is uphill though. So we're gonna have, uh, bike's gonna have some trouble going up the hill. But look at how easily it goes over this. The KLX doesn't go over this stuff as easily. The KLX will go over the big rocks a little easier though, because it's, uh, because it has a little more inertia and some more weight, you know? Woo! All right, we're just ripping on the old Rubicon Trail here. All rocks, all rocks. Easily gets through this. We, mind you, we're all, the bike is really low on power right now. It's just ripping right through it. All right, this is the bonus Rubicon, old Rubicon on the light beat here. We rode this earlier this morning on the KLX. Really rocky. Let's take, let's go to the bridge. We'll go to the bridge and we'll come back. If we can, I don't know. Still got plenty of power to rip. It handles this so nicely. Okay, it's slowing down now though. Oh, it's getting rough, it's getting rough. Oh. Careful, there might be traffic too. Oh, my knees, my, all of my thighs hurt. <laughs> okay, it's flattening out. I think we go, actually not sure, where, I'm not really sure where that goes. I want to go check it out. I think it's a campsite. Let's check it out. Yeah, it's a campsite. There's a fire ring. There's a fire ring with the garbage in it, as usual, and there's a bunch of shotgun shells. So you could probably take your gun out here and shoot some stuff. It's a shooting range slash campsite. <laughs> That's what it is. There's a little trail here that takes you back out to the Rubicon Trail. Okay, this is the nasty section right here. Okay. I know, Hades hey, Omega's asking for it, man. <laughs> Let's see how much charge we got left. Tw 22, okay. I want to get to 20, we're gonna turn around. So we won't have any power to get out of here. But now we're going downhill, That's, we're gonna have to go uphill on the way back. But you, as you can see, this bike, it rips on this kind of trail. It's kind of just baby head trails. Look at this, no problem, it's so light. Okay, there's a bridge, but... This is, we're gonna have trouble going up this uh, low power. It's had a lot of power, just ripped right through this. Let's see if we can make it to that Girl Creek Bridge. Careful, there could be somebody coming. Really rocky, really rocky. Ooh. Oh, I was gonna say jump over the rock, but I was like, nah, it's okay. I'm good. Take the rocky path. <laughs> Pop up over the rock. Woo! <laughs> Easily gets to do this. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, it's beating the shit out of me right now. Oh, oh the broke rock. Go over it. I just fixate on the rocks, you know. Okay, it'll be easy to go down this. We're we'll, we'll going down, not up. Oh, 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 lots of rocks. Oh, oh man beating the shit out of me. You know what, I think we might be, we might have been able to ride this back, man. It's shorter, I think, than taking the pavement. Okay, I think it's time to turn around. This is a nasty section here. Look at how steep, steep and rocky. The bike is still doing it, man. It's that 62 sprocket, man. The engine, the motor is not working too hard. Oh yeah, I softened up the suspension a whole lot too. 
That's probably why it's not beating me up too bad. The squirrels could still hear me coming. Okay, I think we should turn around, dude. All right, so that was a little demonstration of uh, the uh, Suron Light Bee on the roof. Oh man, there's no power. There's no power to pop the front up anymore. Jesus, this gets worse and worse. <laughs> so that's a demonstration of the Suron Light Bee riding the old Rubicon Trail. It did it pretty damn well. These oh no, no more power. Okay, I'm gonna turn around now. I just felt the it run out of power. A little bit. How far did we make it from the bridge? Two more waypoints. Oh, okay. Now the bridge is still up there, man. It's like another like half mile or mile. Okay, so that's it. We're gonna turn around. Um, um, so this is gonna be the downhill, or we're just gonna go back. It's gonna be mostly downhill, so that's cool. So easy to ride, man. Just as easy as the KLX, man. The KLX's suspension is stiffer, so it gets over like you know the really rough rocks really better. This is so light though, and it just kind of just rolls over the rocks like that, see? I can see the lights, man. It's starting to get dark. I don't want to be stuck out here at night. Look at this, man. Nasty. I'm just going to roll over it. No problem. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's easy when you've got gravity on your side, but... Okay. Well, let's see if we can rip it back. Most of it was downhill. Uh, most of it was uphill, so... So you can see, with just like 20% battery still, a little more than 20%, it still made it up this with a 62 sprocket. Not bad. It did really well. This, this is really rocky, dude. This is... This is nasty. Here are the rocks hitting the skid plates. Woo -wee. See, we're just using the regen to get down, though. Just don't hit any of the really big rocks. We'll be fine. My feet feel like they want to slip off the foot pegs. <sighs> Woo! I think it's less work going up it because the bike is kind of just skimming over everything. If we speed up a little bit, it's easier. But we don't got no more power. I'm going wide open. It's not going anywhere. There is an uphill section still, so let's leave the power. We'll try to push, push the bike as much as we can. But just for fun, we just went up this, so just to see how it would do, and it's doing a fantastic job. Oh my god, look at these rocks. We could do it faster if we had more power, but wide open throttle, that's all it's got, see? So we're only going like. I can't, I can't even look at the speedometer. I've got to pay attention to what's in front of me. Probably only going like 15 miles an hour. Yeah, 13 miles an hour through that. We're going wide open. It ain't going nowhere. The good thing is there's not many hills left. But it just, it does this easily, dude. It's like I'm riding a mountain bike with a lot of power. You know? It's, pretty, it's basically what it is. Uh-oh, here we go. This is a steep, this is it. This is, this is a steep climb with rocks, so good luck. I have a feeling the, the bike is just going to cut out on me. This is what I didn't want to push the bike over. Come on, you can do it, buddy. You can do it. Just this one climb, and I think everything else is downhill from there. It's going so slow, but it's still going. Woo, you did it. Not bad. Good job, my B. <laughs> oh, shit, there's more. <laughs> I rejoiced too early. It's a pre-victory celebration. Okay, let's see how much we got. Okay, this is that campground, I think. That's pretty much it. That was the hardest stuff. 15%. Woo! It's going to die soon. When it gets... Uh, for my my experience, when it gets to 10%, that's it. It says... it's It starts saying, no, no bueno, can't go anymore. So, we need to get back. But it's all downhill, dude. It's all downhill. I don't remember how much, how many miles we went. But we're at 23 right now. I didn't check when we, I think we're at 20. So we did about, we did about like a mile or two, I think. Let's get 
get our electrons done for today. It's going to take forever to recharge this when we get back to the camp, though. We want to get this on the charger right away. <laughs> you know what I wish? I wish that the charger had a, had, a, had a button or a selector switch to let it charge at a lower, uh, lower watts, you know? Like it charges at 10 amps current, I mean. <laughs> it charges at 10 amps, so if there's a way to, to make it do like five amps or like two amps, you know? Adjust how much the charge rate is, then I could actually hook it up to the inverter in my van. It takes 1200 watts to charge the light bee. You need a 1200 watt inverter and it has to have more, you know, it, it, you need like 1800 watts of surge, you know? Oh my God, it's beating the shit out of me. For some reason it feels like it's rougher going going back than it did going up. Oh, my, my, my biceps are killing me. I can feel it. It's sore. Oh, we're going wide open throttle. I'm only doing 18 miles an hour here. Ooh. Not paying attention. I wish I had a heads-up display on my on my goggles or something. Oh shit, we're not got no power. We're in limp mode now. We're riding on limp mode. It's okay, we're almost there. We're almost back. Almost back, almost back. We're going wide open throttle. I ain't going anywhere, but this is it. This is it, we made it back! Woo! Good job, baby! Man, you were still able to play a little bit at the end of the day, dude. <laughs> Let me just go get a picture on the near the sign. So that was about like, I would say that's about three miles. We rode about three miles. This is three miles. The whole thing is three miles. So I, I hate, I hate to say it. We probably could have made the whole trail back if we rode the the dirt section. Yeah, we could have made it back. <laughs> I think so. It did pretty good. Even at low power, it did pretty good. 14% charge. Um, I, like I said, once you get to 10%, it's not going to want to ride it, run anymore, though. So you probably don't want to push it more than that. I think we could have made it back. <laughs> All right, it's big out. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy the, the short uh, old Rubicon Trail ride. Um, that is the That was the old Rubicon Trail from the airport flats campground. Um, I wanted to just ride a little bit of it. We, did, we didn't ride it from the other end because I didn't think we'd make it. I think we might have made it, but we probably, the battery would have been really low. So as you can see, it's 14% really, it's charge right now. It's not going faster than like 20 miles an hour. It's, it's in freaking low power mode right now. But it still got over the rocks just fine, dude. I'm like, damn, dude. The 62 sprocket, man, that it, it, it makes it so, you know, it can go to distance a little bit, you know, on the rough stuff. So, so yeah. All right. So it's time to put it back on the trailer and recharge. <laughs> it's gonna take like four or five hours to charge this sucker. Damn it. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna write it up there. It's supposed to be on the right side, but I'll just put it up there first. And normally I would just pop it up over the deck, you know. Good job, Light B. You're the best, man. <laughs> we made it, okay. All right, so um, I will do AAR on the ride after we strap all the bikes in. Um, that was a lot of fun. I. I'm glad we got two rides. We got two good rides done today. One on the KLX and one on good old Light B. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm really happy with both both of the rides and both of the bikes. So especially this one. Um, you don't have to worry about jetting or anything. You know, it doesn't run rich or anything because it doesn't use any fuel. <laughs> That's the cool thing. But uh, yeah, so that was the uh, old Rubicon Trail ride. So. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, that uh, it was just a little video to show you to demonstrate how well this bike did on the Rubicon. Watch if you guys didn't watch it yet. Watch uh, watch the my Loon Lake Rubicon Trail video, and you will see me ride this bike through freaking carnage. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, um, this this bike can do way more than that. But that old Rubicon Trail, it just you just saw it. It just ripped it up, man. It it, it no problem, man. It was easy for it. All right, so uh, thanks for watching. Here's my gal, 14% charge. 
I'd say uh, we got our money's worth. Uh, we got our electrons worth out of that battery today. <laughs> All right. Actually, let's let's um before before I do the thumbs up, let's check the controller. Controller is cold. Battery is cold. The motor is cold too. Yeah, it's good. Not that hot today, so it did great. All right. Here's we go.